So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can import a fragment of a plan to help you locate the furniture in a concept sketch. There are two basic ways I use to import a file while I'm working. Uh, both involve going to the Actions menu. The first is Insert a File, where you can insert anything from your iCloud drive or the files on your iPad. And the second is to insert a photo. And uh, depending on how the file was sent to your iPad, you'll use one of the two options. Here's the plan that I am importing from my photos library. Now I'm going to select only the portion of the plan I need to make it as easy as possible later to stretch the corners of the plan to the SketchUp view. Once that portion of the plan is selected, I use the Duplicate button to add it to its own layer. Then I get rid of the original layer I imported. This gives me a clean, new layer to work with that I can drag around and fit to the SketchUp view. So zooming back out, I have my imported plan and now I'm going to shrink the entire canvas, select the plan again, and transform each corner so it matches the corresponding corner in the SketchUp view. To be honest, this can take a lot of tries, but once it's in there, you'll see it on its own layer again. And you can change the opacity so you can trace or draw over it without being too distracted. Now I'm going to add a new layer and start sketching the bar stools in the plan. To maximize the contrast, I'm going to select red ink. I'm going to use the flat brush and start drawing these stools in a very sketchy way. Always working to avoid that sense of preciousness that can cause you to procrastinate or not work as quickly as you'd like. It's not important to be super accurate at this stage, but you do want to get the so-called taxonomy of the furniture somewhat correct. I'm going to add a few more details. And what I'm building up to here is the idea of duplicating the stool and repeating it four times towards the foreground as shown on the plan. So I'm going to add another layer called Stool Lines. I'm going to select black and I'm going to switch back to the technical pen and now I'm going to give this stool the same kind of line detail that I gave to the other furniture. Again, I'm working quickly to create a sketch style that registers as ambiguous and suggestive in the eyes and minds of the client and other people that see this sketch. And that's really what concept sketching is all about. It's a way to communicate when you don't have precise design knowledge yet, or you don't want to limit your options, and you want to keep your communication as suggestive and as ambiguous as possible. In the next segment, I'll show you how to duplicate parts of your drawing to save time. But until then, I hope you'll check out my other tutorials, and please be sure to subscribe.